So the internals looking at is straight drive shaft, direct drive on the granite BLX 4x4 right here. And then you got the TR MT10 Red Cat, Team Red Cat. You know, it does have that nicer wheelie bar because I did break this wheelie bar, but I'm using a zip tie, which works great. Hasn't given me any problems wheeling. 4400 kV motor here. I think that was like a 20. One, what is it, 2400 or something like that? KV motor? No, 3200, sorry. 3200 KV motor. And this one's the uh, 4300 KV motor on the uh, TR SE 10 -E. Now, people ask me between these two, SE 10 -E and MT 10 -E, for the uh, Red Cats, Team Red Cats, which one would you get? Um, I probably would get the, the Monster Truck because it does come with LEDs, you know, and it looks great and it's good for off-roading and bashing. Uh, they did come with these controllers before because I bought it before. Now I think they might come with this one. They're both pretty good. I got I bought the Granite BLX when it came with the Tactic. So so that's cool. But um, body's on. Uh, which one's tougher? Um, I think the MT-10 is really tough. The only problem I had with those outdrive cup in the back, like right here, coming out of the diff was uh, there's no Loctite on it, so if you gotta be careful and you gotta make sure it's Loctite pretty good because if it ain't, it will potentially tear up the uh, chassis on the inside and it's no biggie, I just had to get that pin. I contacted Red Cat, they took care of it. Now, they, this granite had a little fluke with the pin and one of these pins inside here on the hex hub. You guys saw that, my, the wheel flew off a little bit when I jumped it a few times, but it's super tough. I'd say these two for sure, certified, Tom Track certified are tough. This one, on the other hand, I haven't really tried yet. All right, guys, so I solved the problem with the SE 10 -E that I did before. Remember how I told you guys that it did that like stutter step kind of j -j 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 thing when, uh, when I was driving with the 3S? It doesn't do it anymore. So the simple thing uh, that I learned is all you gotta do is you gotta calibrate your ESC. So you know, you hold the set button, wait till it blinks, and then you just release it when you turn it on while the transmitter's on. And then all you do at that point is you uh, press the set button and then you full throttle it and you press the set button again, then it'll do two beeps, then you full throttle it, then you press the set button again, and then um, it's done. And then once it's, and you turn it off and turn it on again, once the ESC is calibrated like you do with every uh, Hobby Wing ESC or whatever, then it's good to go, you know what I mean? And then, and then see, now it goes smooth and there's nothing wrong with the ESC at all. So for, for you guys who watched the last video that I talked about the ESC lagging, it doesn't lag at all. It's a Hobby Wing high grade uh, ESC and it's fast, you know, on, on, on 3S. I love this thing, it's badass. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I do like this as a short course truck. I do feel like it's one of the top dogs uh, as far as what you get for your value. And it's badass. So they're, I guess they're building up some like, some things here, but uh, one problem with one of those Arma 3S BLXs is uh, some of the uh, problems with the rocks. Like if you drove in and like rocks like this, some of the rocks can get stuck between the drivetrain. I did hear about that, so um, I don't know if that's, you know, you could put a cover on there to prevent that, but, um, but you know, the MT-10 -E was my favorite truck up until this truck came up. Now, mind you guys, this, uh, this granite right now, it is running on um, only 2S because uh, I don't have an extra 3S battery that's charged, but uh, so this is only 2S right now, but it does go fast, it does go 50 miles per hour. The Red Cat out of the box doesn't, with the electronics that it comes with, doesn't handle um, a higher gear than like 9, I think, or 11 or something like that. So it's not going to be that fast out of the box, but it's very torquey, and that's the thing with it. Now you can make this thing torquey too if you just adjust the slipper. Uh, but I left it kind of open so it doesn't willy too much, but I had it willing pretty good before um, And it looked pretty good. But yeah, this is the granite BL, uh, three, BLX 3S guys And uh, I'm running right now 2S only but you know, this is one of my favorite 10 scale monster trucks. I think that uh, Between the MT-10 -E and this it's just for the value it's the best now uh, speed wise uh, Like I said 50 miles per hour see this is only 2S and it's already doing probably like close to 40 if I if I gunned it, which is really good. Now the MT10E doesn't do that fast. It does probably basically I'd say about 
40 miles per hour or 38 and that's on 3s guys so it's not that fast but it is torquey and if you geared it up you would worry about uh, heating issues heating issues on this thing because the heating issues is the biggest problem but the torqueiness and the fun factor it's definitely one of my favorite trucks. I used to flip it like crazy because it's so torquey. But I'm barely easing into it and I'm just used to driving it already. So I always knew this was a good truck to drive. See, because it's very torquey just like the B6S. And if you guys haven't driven that truck yet, I would highly recommend it because I think it's one of the funnest trucks in the world as far as RC is concerned. Um... Now, I could, I, I've been uh, driving this a lot, so I got the hang of it to kind of wheelie it, like, really good and stuff. Oh. But uh, it does do that monster walk. So between the, this and the uh, Proline MT 4x4, that thing is probably tougher, but, I mean, for the value, you're paying a lot more, you know what I mean? For, for that and the... Um, and it doesn't come with everything, like electronics and all that and stuff like that, so... But yeah, everyone wanted me to do this uh, comparison because they know I love the uh, MT-10E and, and, and the, uh, as a 10 scale monster truck because I like its bashability and its ballisticness. It was the E5 and I know when Aussie RC Playground first released it, the E5 it was like so tough. I was like, I got to get that truck. So I, I, I pre-ordered it with Steven's Carl McCann from uh, No Problems Computer. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, got it right off the back when it first came out. And it's been like one of my favorite 10 scale uh, monster trucks ever since because I just think it's like so fun like you know it may be a little wild and hard to, to handle but I think it's like so fun as far as um, the way it drives and stuff like that yeah definitely uh, and you know the cool thing is it doesn't traction roll too bad considering the wheels are really grippy but I did hear from one of my other guys that the wheels um after a while they kind of tear mine's hasn't torn yet but um now would you choose that this is like a triple comparison i was gonna do just the um granite and the mt10 -E, but i brought out this se10 because -E people were asking me hey so is the se10 -E worth it or should i get the mt10 -E? and i was like well you know, I think I like the MT-10 because it's more wild, but if you're a short course person and you want to race, like you want to go on a track and you just want to turn it and race it and drive it really nicely, then you probably could go with uh, this one because I think, honestly, this truck for, for the price is hands down like a better deal because now they raise the price, I think, on the MT-10. But uh, anyways, uh, I want to sit out here, kill off these batteries, and at least I solved the problem with the ESC laggy. Oh wait, did it do it? Let me try that again. That was weird. Oh, it still does it. You see that? So this is what I was talking about, guys. Never mind. So I did calibrate the ESC and it still does it. I just found that watch. Oh wait, it kind of does it sometimes and it doesn't. Let me see. Let me bring it close, see if it does it. Alright, let's see that. Hold on. Oh, no, it's not too bad. It kind of did it, but it kind of didn't. I thought it did. Never mind, it's still good. Yeah, so let me see. Watch. Let's see if we can hear it. Oh, no. It's, it's fine. Oh, dang. That rock, like, crashed. Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, it didn't do it, actually. It's still good. Let's try that again. Oh, no. See, it kind of went... Duh, 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 but that was me gunning it completely. But it went... Duh, 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 a little bit. You see that? It's kind of weird. I don't know why the ESC would do that. But it, it's not like it slows it down too much. Do you hear that? It went do 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 like that instead of just do. Let's try that again. Sorry, wasting this time doing this, but you guys want to know if you want to buy it, right? Oh, that time was a smooth layoff. So some, so now that I calibrated the ESC, sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. But I think it's just the way the the power is transferred from the electronics to the motor. Hear that? Ow, that hurt. That that hurt. That rock just nailed me right in the uh, the leg. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I don't know if I got all this footage, but I'm going to definitely sit out here. I'll be bringing you guys more videos. I really appreciate all you guys watching and supporting the channel. Uh, Tom Track style. But uh, anyways, guys, here's a look at all three cars real quick. A quick scan, another look, because I know some people just drive and bash, but they don't let you look at it. And a lot of times, the looks do matter, especially if you guys know 
uh, the way it is because you're gonna wash this ugly car and it's super durable who likes that you know <laughs> you go wash like a little tub driving around and it's like the toughest thing in the world but it looks like a freaking tub then that's no fun so you know you got to have a nice looking RC while it's tough as well but you know that's just how it is but I'm, I'm definitely a fan of these two brands right here arm has always been one of my favorites Team Red Cat's always been one of my favorites, you know, but um, thanks for watching. I love you guys. Have a great day. Happy Sunday and stay tuned for more videos.